What's up guys, it's x 2 Robbie 2 x here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up um, Minecraft Coder Pack 5.0 with Minecraft 1.0 and Eclipse and Mod Loader. So alright, before we start doing anything, make sure you have Eclipse downloaded, which uh, I'll link all this in the description, but um, basically Eclipse, you want this one, the Eclipse Classic, and make sure you download it for the right operating system. If you have a 32-bit, make sure you download 32. If you have a 64, download 64. Because otherwise, it doesn't work if you download the wrong one. So make sure you get that right. Next up, you want to go um, on... I don't know how to say his name, but you want to download a mod loader. If you're going to download it, use AdFly. Because this guy is absolutely amazing for doing this. And it's, you know, it's, it's like five seconds of your time to give him some credit. Um, next up, we want to download MCP, which is not on the wiki yet, I don't think. Oh, well, it's on their wiki, but it's not on Minecraft wiki yet. So I just downloaded it right off the guy's tweet that um, pretty much like leads the whole MCP team, I think. So yeah, you want to go ahead and download that. Now I already have all of them downloaded, so I have them right here. Uh, MCP and mod loader so after we have that done uh... we have to make a brand new minecraft so you want to go to uh... your run i guess you want to type in percent app data percent and then you'll see a bunch of stuff like this um, what you want to do is either delete your current dot minecraft folder if you don't care really about it or just rename it to something else like that Minecraft like I have these but I don't this is just a junk one so I'll go ahead and delete that alright so now the next thing you want to do is open up Minecraft um, I don't know what this is the launcher and it'll create a brand new Minecraft folder for you why is it spazzing out what's going on alright now um, you want to go ahead and sign in and it'll download the new mine like all the Minecraft will update it for you and give you a brand new like clean version. Now it's not enough just to do this. Um to get the full mine <coughs> I'm sorry. To get the full Minecraft you want to just go to a brand new world, whatever. Because if you only do the first like part without creating a world in this new Minecraft, it won't give you all the ambient sounds and it won't give you like all the models, I don't think, and stuff like that. So just make sure to do this to make a world you don't have to do anything in the world just save and exit okay so now that we have an app data we have our brand new minecraft folder you want to go ahead and navigate to bin then you want to use something like um, winrar uh, 7-zip any any kind of uh, oh no nope, that's not what I want to do <sighs> any kind of uh, on zipping I guess um, software now that we're in minecraft.jar first of all you want to delete the meta inf make sure to do that because if you don't it'll give you a black screen and the next thing you want to do is get your mod loader that you downloaded and just take all the classes from mod loader and simply drag them into minecraft.jar now uh, let's see Entity, all right. So we we have all the classes in here. I can see the mod loader classes. So then you can go ahead and cancel out of Minecraft.jar. You can uh, you can cancel out a mod loader, but I'll just slide that over to my other screen right now. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you want to extract the Minecraft Coder Pack. Now I use my Minecraft Coder Pack on where is it? Here it is on my flash drive because it's useful I use my clips also on a flash drive because Eclipse is amazing and doesn't require anything else to, to, to run I guess it's just the source files so uh, I have my 32 and 64 bit Eclipse on my flash drive just for you know and all this other stuff is junk but I did make a new folder called MCP 1.01 and that's like the version of Minecraft that I'm running MCP on right now and what you want to do is all this will not be in there. 
So just make a folder anywhere on your computer, preferably desktop or somewhere you know where it is, and name it like something MCP related, so you know. Next thing you want to do is just extract whatever, whatever, navigate to that folder and extract all these files to this folder. Now I have this done also, so I'll just drag that over there. Alright, now next thing you want to do is actually open up your dot minecraft again with the app data. I just have a shortcut for it. Now you open up the dot minecraft folder, which is brand new. You didn't do anything yet, but just put model loader in there. Now just take the um in your MCP, you're gonna go to jars and you'll see option server servers. Probably I don't know in the other version of MCP if it does that. But what you're gonna want to do is copy and paste bin okay into the jars and then you're also going to want to do that to resources do, 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 do. come on why are you being slow now I won't need my dot minecraft anymore so I'll just drag that over also okay so now that we have that you're gonna go back to the like the MCP folder in the beginning and you're gonna want to run decompile now I'll probably get some uh, firewall errors or like pop-ups out of this um, nope no firewall okay so I'm cutting this in here uh, because I forgot to say it when I was recording but um, before you open up Eclipse before you do anything in Eclipse make sure to go to your wherever you saved your Eclipse um, you want to go to you want to open up the Eclipse.ini, which would be a con configuration setting type file. So you want to open that up. Oh, and what you get is basically um, the settings for Eclipse. Now yours might be going from top to bottom, but I don't know why I'm, why mine's so spread out. But you want to scroll all the way down or all the way to the right, and you'll see two numbers here. Whoops. Now yours will. What is it doing? Why does it keep scrolling? All right. Okay. Seriously. Uh, does it help? Oh my God. Let's. All right. There you go. <coughs> so, uh, you're gonna have two numbers here. Now you'll probably have like two fifty six and five twelve. I don't know. Probably. But um, this is pretty much the heap size of Eclipse and. It's pretty much like Eclipse's RAM while it's running a program. So you want to turn this up when you're modding for Minecraft because you're going to run Minecraft inside of Eclipse and that might take up a lot of space. So you'll probably have like 256 and 512 here. I am not sure. But uh, if you can spare the memory, either set both of them to 1024 or 1280. Now, I don't know if you need actual, um, uh, if it needs to be divisible by 256, but that's what usually works, and that's what, I, I, I don't know. I think that's it. So, either 1024 or 1280, and you should be fine for Minecraft modding. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Back to my de decompiling of my jars. Alright, so it's still decompiling. I don't know why. Oh, there you go. Um, oh, if you see this right here, modified jar detected unpredictable results. This just means that we um, we added uh, what is it, mod loader in there, and it does not recognize those classes, but it really does. You, you'll see. Um, okay, so now that we have that Eclipse uh, configuration done, also let's just open up Eclipse. And the first time you open up Eclipse, it's going to ask you for a workspace. Now, what you want to do is um, for that workspace, you want to go to your MCP folder, like navigate to your MCP folder, and then go to Eclipse, and just simply like make this Eclipse, make that your workspace. Now, if you already changed your workspace up uh, to something else, you can go to File, Switch Workspace, work, bleh, Workspace, go to Other, and just navigate here again, and click OK. Now what this will do will give you like two workspaces and you can just switch between each of them. But yeah, you want to go to um, the Eclipse one and just click OK. But um, alright, so 
Let's see what we have. You'll have some uh, hunk fail. That doesn't matter. Disregard that. It took. Oh my god. It took uh, 1,058 seconds to do this. It might have been just because it's on a flash drive. I'm not sure. But usually it doesn't take this long. Um, I didn't decompile the server.jar. Uh, if you want to um, decompile that, just take the Minecraft server jar. Make sure it's a jar, not an exe. Put it in the jars um, right here in the jars. Just put plop it in here, and then decompile it again. All right, so we have that. It decompiled the client. Um, okay, so that's done, and uh, we already have our Eclipse open, which is awesome. So now what you want to do is just uh, make a new project. So name it MCP 1.0.0, I think it is. I think that's the current Minecraft version. So you just want to click finish. Okay, so right now there's nothing in your uh, source folder. You want to go ahead and right click on that, build path, link source, browse, uh, go to your MCP folder, uh, go down to source, um, Minecraft, click the first one, not the second one, so like this, click the first one, Minecraft, click OK, finish, and now you have all the Minecraft classes in here. There you go. But yeah, basically, if you only link the source, you get a bunch of errors because you've only decompiled the Minecraft.jar. Now there's all these other. All right, see there you go. Okay. So there's all these other um, jars that you need to put in there in order for it to work. So you're gonna um, build path again. You're gonna want to configure build path. Um, add external jars and go back to your MCP jars bin and inside bin you'll find all of these so just select them all open now in your LWJGL that jar I think that's what it says you're gonna wanna expand that go to your nat native library location um, edit you're going to want to navigate back to your, where is this, navigate back to your MCP folder, uh, jars, bin, natives, and then you'll click OK. So now we have that, just click OK. And building workspace, come on, why is it being so slow? Um, but all those errors should uh, should be gone now. Okay, well, when you run that, um, it only gives you, like, basically just prints out, like, the system.outs, if you know what that is, if you know your Java programming. So that's all it does. Now, to actually get the Minecraft working inside of, <coughs> oh, sorry, uh, inside of Eclipse, you're going to want to, uh, whoops, go into Green Arrow, run New Configuration. You're going to want to run Configurations. Now, uh... Java application new configuration. Sure, let's go with new configuration. Um, if you don't have this, just right click on it, click new. But I already have one, so let's delete that. New configuration, you're going to want to go to project, select your project, whichever one you're working on. And now you go to search. I don't know why it's going so slow. And you're going to want to select the Minecraft, this one, not the plugin test, not that one, just Minecraft. Hit apply, close, or run. I guess we'll run it right now. And when you uh, hit the run configurations or whatever it is, when you run your program, you get your thing right here. And you can actually test this out. It, it works normally. Yay, Minecraft. All right, so you have Minecraft. Now, to actually, I'll just show you like a basic mod. Basic, basic. Um, Actually, I have thought this up. Um, let's see, entity. Let's look at entity snowball. And um, this is the snowball. Wait, that's not it. 
Wait, it is just, yeah. Um, bite zero. Okay. Um, oh, I did not know that. If a snowball hits the, hits the blazing inferno thing, it actually does damage. I did not know that. That's, oh, that's weird. All right, but basically this sets the damage for the snowball. It's zero because it only knocks you back. Now let's set it to ten, so it does five hearts of damage, which I think one hits like pretty much every animal and some of the mobs. All right, so now we modified that. We just go back to uh, go back to Minecraft. I'm gonna make a new world that's creative. I don't want to. I don't feel like naming it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have unlimited snowballs in this world, and I'll show you real quick how that works. Come on. Why are you so slow? I'm gonna, oh, E to inventory. Alright, I forgot to set any of them. Let's find snowball. Fly. Um... Give me a pig or a sheep or something so I can demonstrate that it works. I see chicken. Oh, I see sheep. Even better. Hi, sheep. See, and now snowballs do damage. And, uh. Let me actually find. Oh, E to open up. And snowmen would also do damage then. I don't feel like finding mobs right now but yeah so that mod works okay so now that we have that so I mean that's it that's all you're gonna wanna do is just do it in here play it through Eclipse mod whatever you're modding and then once you're done once you're done modding and you want to you want your mod to like you want your classes for your mod well uh, you're gonna go back to your MCP folder and when you modify the class, like I just did with uh, Snowball, you're going to want to uh, recompile first, which is going to pretty much put the, put all the classes back together into a jar. And then you're going to want to hit Reobfuscate. Now what this will do is it will check through every class and compare it with the old classes and tell you what you changed on that class. And every class that you changed, it will give you as a new class. And I don't want to do this right now because I, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a long time. But you can recompile it. You're going to get another source uh, command prompt window. And it'll go through its thing and it'll click whatever. And then you're going to hit reobfuscate. It's going to be the same thing. But in the reobfuscate window, it'll tell you like um, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it would tell me like snowball.class, entity snowball.class. And it'll give you it an, it'll give it another name that Minecraft uses, so it's like a two-letter name, three-letter name, whatever. And then um, after you hit reobfuscate, after that's done, you're gonna go to reobf right here in your MCV folder, and in here you're gonna have the classes that you modified or the new classes that you've made for like let's say mod loader mod. All the new classes will be in here, and then you can just copy those and just redistribute it to people or just like put them in a zip folder or zip file and let other people download it so that's pretty much how it works this is really basic and I might get into some tutorials on how to do uh, mod loader mods so yeah stick around so uh, make sure you like the video if you liked it subscribe for more videos of all variety I guess and uh, thanks for watching see ya